ChatGPT is an amazing tool, but that's all it is. It is a tool and tools are only as good as their users. Think about it. Let's pretend you have a hammer sitting on a table. That hammer can build a house if it has a carpenter behind it who knows how to use it. It's all about the knowledge in this space and ChatGPT is no different. So why is this website picking up 2,500 visitors per month off of one ChatGPT article and this website totally failing off of 100% ChatGPT articles? That's the question. And that's what we're going to uncover in this video. That's what's been bugging me this last week. Why am I having success on some websites with ChatGPT, but not on others? So let's uncover it. Let's let's unwind this thing and figure out how to use ChatGPT properly so we can rank higher and make more money online. So let's jump into it. I'm going to show you something very interesting. This is a content hub that I created for a client over three months ago, about three months ago. Look here, February 22nd, it started. Today is the 23rd of May. That's three months. We've gotten 25,000 plus clicks and look at the trend. It's going up. Look at the impressions. It's zooming. This thing can go to 75,000 clicks in a month off of one content hub. And here's the cool part. There's a secret to this content hub. I'm going to teach you how to do this in this video and I'm going to teach you the chat GPT way. Before we do, let's dive deeper. This is the stats. Okay. Every row denotes an article. So there's 50 articles in this hub. My bad. 50 altogether because we keep adding to it. Here's something important. If you show success in a thing, drive harder into that thing. You don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. If you show success, keep doing the thing that's working. Hello. Anyways, the top five articles, four articles. Look, the yellow one. What do you think the yellow one is? It's a chat GPT article that we peppered in to see if it would work. It cost practically nothing to do. And it's crazy. The clicks. 2100 clicks. I'm going to show you the chart for this thing to show you ChatGPT articles do rank, but why do they rank? But before I show you how to do this on your website with ChatGPT, look, this is the ChatGPT article in that hub. It started February 22nd. Where are we now? 88 clicks in one day? 88 clicks in one day. And look at, you tell me, is the trend going up or is it going down? This thing, this one article, ChatGPT article that cost you 50 cents could bring in 4,000 visitors per month. And depending upon what niche you're in, you could have RPMs of $50 in the niche I'm talking about. Highly competitive, US-based, right? That's something I want to point out. This is a .com website. This is not an easier you know, domain out and wherever. This is the most competitive space within the .com, right? You could earn $200 passively off of this one article every month and you spent 50 cents. So naturally you should be thinking, all right, fine, Jesse, you did it. You did it in chat GPT and then you backed it out and you edited the heck out of it. You spent hours, but that's not the case. I spent five minutes editing this article and pushed it live and let it sit. So if we were to go back in time when I created the article, this is how I did it. I said, hey, hey, I just like to say hi to ChatGPT sometimes. Give me the top 10 beaches in Washington for surfers. And it says, sure, here they are, Westport and all these other things. And it tells you a little bit about it. Great. Give me a list of the 10 top 10 beaches. Here you go. Great. Give me the unique things about each of these beaches. Great. It gives me all of them, right? Write a detailed article outline for this article. Blah, 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 blah. Boom. And then I would merely say, write section one in a conversational voice, right? This is exactly what I did. This is exactly what I did. Watch, write portion two, write portion two. There's nothing fancy about this. So why did it work? Why does it work for some websites? Why doesn't it work for others? Before we go on, there's always people in the comments hemming and hawing about, oh, it's AI content and Google doesn't like AI content. Look, Google said they don't care. They just want it to be helpful. They want it to be helpful content. They don't care if it's AI. You can use AI to assist your process. They even said this, right? Just make sure it's helpful content. And that's the key. That's the key, that's everything. If you know how to make helpful content, it starts at the start, right? I'm gonna teach you how to do this. If you know how to make helpful content and it starts with the ideation of what you're gonna write about, how you're gonna structure your website, that's when you can be successful with ChatGPT. And now it should make sense on why I've pressed into the custom article workflow because if you can dictate headers, keywords, and LSIs and create an article quickly for fractions of what we used to. We used to spend $500 per article, now we're spending 50 cents, right? Don't get me wrong, I have writers on the team that are excellent. I'd put them up against any other writer in the world, right? We rank for outstanding keywords. 
doing things, you know, ChatGPT cannot, right? There's certain things ChatGPT cannot do, but for general articles, like the top 10 things, right? Those are listicles. ChatGPT excels at doing them. And using tools like the custom article workflow, the quick article workflow, makes your life so much easier. You can bust out 10 articles in a day, no problem. But the point that you need to get to is this. Listen to me. You need to get to the point where you have 100% clarity on what you need to do to achieve your goals. If you don't, there's a big problem. There's a schism. There's a big separation between what you need to do and where you are right now. You need the knowledge to go forth and do it right? These tools can, can be your tool. It can be your hammer to create the house. But if you don't have a clue on how to structure the website and how to do the keywords, do the headers, then you have a big problem. So part of the secret of getting 4,000 visitors per month to a ChatGPT article was here. Maybe you didn't see it, right? But it's here. It's right in front of you. What is so special about what you're seeing here? Every article here, all 50 of them serve a purpose. These have gotten no impressions, no clicks, hardly at all. Look, how many of these have really stunk up the place? What is that, like 20 of them? 20 of them. Half of them have stunk up the place. They're still simmering, right? They're still cooking, but they lend authority to your top articles. You need to create content hubs without thinking, oh, this one isn't performing well. This one stinks. I'm going to delete it off my website. No, they all serve a purpose. There's gap content. There's content that just supports other content. There's all kinds of different types of content. If you want to dive deeper into those concepts, the masterclass is perfect. But I need you to understand that every piece of content here in this hub has a purpose. Maybe this one down here, maybe these right here, support these right here. And we never intended on these to be as powerful as these, right? It all works together. A website is like is like a sea. Once the sea starts to go up, 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 the water goes up, all the boats raise, right? All the boats in the harbor raise when things start going well. That's how you need to start to see your website. Now look here, this is a website I can show you working on right now. This is bonsaimary.com, 100% ChatGPT, look, 89 clicks per day. The trend is going up. We started this like a month ago, right? A month ago. It is an aged domain, but I'm going to give you a back end look, front end, back end. You usually only see the front end of a website. You only see the success, but I'm going to show you what it looks like on the back on how I, you know, give standard operating procedures to uh, our virtual assistants, our team members, which are awesome team members, by the way, and then what we're going to do to build out using ChatGPT and how we're going to see success. So here's the website. This is what it looks like. Nothing too fancy. In fact, it's not that good at all, but we're ranking and we're focusing on what matters, which is the words on the website. This is the next hub we're going into. I just want to be clear about this. Look at this. How many is here? Philodendron. This is a type of plant. There's 200 different ones called 199. So look, all I do is I present different plants to my team and they come up with articles. Look, the ultimate guide to grow and care for philodendron. Look at this. And it's done. And it's done. And it costs you fractions upon fractions upon fractions of what it used to cost you because we have the tools to do it. But how do I present these in a manner that they're like, okay, I got you, Jesse, I got you. We'll take care of it. Look, if it's not a specific plant, they do orange. No good, no good. So I'm able to crawl, scrape, use ChatGPT, whatever I need to in order to get different plants. Then they have their own systems. You know, they're going to come up with their own workflows to make it work for them. But once it's added, they add date in a URL. Boom, we can click it, we can go. Right now on this website, five articles a day, five ChatGPT articles a day until we get to 200. What is that? 240 days in a month. This whole hub will be done and we're going to see how it performs. So this is one of the templated techniques that are very effective when you're using automation, right? I teach it in depth in the masterclass, but all the user or, or you know, their virtual assistant or whomever it may be has to do is take this, you know, this is a header outline, push it here into the custom article workflow and click go, right? It's that easy. Of course, there's little fine tuning things to really be successful. The minutia, the details between the cracks is what matters in SEO. That's what makes the difference, right? But this is the general use case, right? Get your article template. You're going to write a lot about a thing, Get very specific, Stop talking about, you know, everything under the sun. You know, you're going this way. You're going this way. You're going out. You need to go down. Talk about philodendron, every philodendron. Don't talk about philodendron and then you're talking about Monstera over here and then a different plan over here. You have three articles on each. No, do 200 articles on one thing and then you're going to see 
success. So why did this article, the 100% ChatGPT article, zoom off like this? Why did it do it? Well, it's like a glacier, right? You can only see the peak of it. You don't know what I'm doing behind the scenes to make it all work. That's where all the value lies. Everything needs to tie together, reference each other. You need to become the expert in a thing. Stop talking about a million different things and become the expert in a thing and interlink them properly. That's when you can show success with ChatGPT. You need to get all the things right. You cannot miss a point. If you're going to go out and take a risk with ChatGPT, because there is a risk. Maybe Google goes back on its word one day. Eh, I know we said it just needs to be helpful, but you know, we changed our mind and they start to penalize. I don't think they're putting resources to, to find out who's using ChatGPT and who's not right now. That would take a considerable amount of resources for Google to detect who's using it, who's using, you know, via n-grams. Oh, the prediction model says this is mo more likely than not to be AI. This one, eh, probably not. What would you do if this website shows 40% likelihood of AI, but they can't prove it yet, they're still going to penalize I don't think they're going down that road. Uh, so right now, they say they're okay with AI content. I'm going with it. For clients of mine, you know, I had that discussion. Would you like to do AI content? Yes or no? Here's the inherent risks. This is where we are in the, you know, climate of SEO right now. And they make that decision. So for your website, you need to make that decision. You know, what is your time horizon on success? And what is your risk tolerance? It's like anything else. You need to make decisions. But to get AI content right, the secret behind being successful with ChatGPT is knowing how to do all the other things. The words on the screen, right? We can pump out articles for you, but are you doing everything else right? That's the key. So if you like this, if you like this learning style, check out the masterclass. You get a you know over the shoulder look at what I do on the daily for clients, what our team does on the daily, uh, as well as the Maverick method, which is a very sequential way of creating articles. We get into the weeds, like the actual words on the screen, how to craft them, where to put them, what needs to be where. Um, and check out the quick article and the custom article workflows coming out very, very soon. Make sure to join the newsletter at the very least. Uh, I appreciate all of you. Uh, thank you for subbing. Thank you for liking and sharing the videos. And I'll check you out on the next one.